Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. and this is going to be a very short video on how to display two cursors or more on your computer using this extremely easy to use program called Team Player. And I found this uh, from Raymond.cc. They wrote a review about it and saying to use, they said to use the old version. And so here's the link to the old version. And I'm going to go into why. The, old, the older version runs on all Windows platforms all the way up to 10 and is completely free. And you do not have to do anything as far as set, you don't have to adjust anything, mess with any settings. This program is completely automatic. So let's just make sure we read all of this. Just kidding. Um, let's install it. Create desktop. Yep, yep, yep. So the newer version supposedly is somewhere upwards of $300. The older version is free for personal use. So we are going to deselect enable automatic update and we're just going to deselect the view to view the PDF guide. And hit okay on this. It just says 64-bit system is detected and we're in beta, blah blah blah. And then at the bottom here it says two mouse devices connected and three keyboards detected, which I don't have three keyboards detected, but that's fine. So we have my main wired uh, mouse, and then we have, let me turn it on. So, and there we go. So this one's my, this is my wireless mouse um, that I'm holding in my left hand. So right hand, left hand. And they both, they work interchangeably. They all, they both can do, you know, what any <laughs> what you can do on a regular basis with your um, you know with your mouse with your cursor so I'm scrolling down and then I can highlight with this one I can deselect it and that kind of stuff um, but they both do so let's, let's keep this is the main one right here now I'm using my left hand and it's all working fine and yeah so this is I'll make sure I put this in the description but um, yeah, it's really that easy. Just install it and you're good to go. As long as you have multiple devices plugged in. So if you have multiple uh, mouse devices plugged in, multiple keyboards plugged in, uh, each one will work independently. So, I mean, they all do work. They will obviously work together. So if I type A on one of the keyboards and then I type, you know, whatever F on the other keyboard, it'll go in sequence. So, but I, like I said, I, this would be an excellent feature for multi, for having multiple monitors or say you're in a game. Let me just, let's go here. So I'm just having the right one here and the left one here battling. So, uh, say you have a game and whatever you're doing, I don't know, uh, you're sniping or something and you're down here and for whatever reason, you have to get the mouse. So let's, let's forget about the blue one. Just leave the blue one alone. That's the secondary one. But we have we only have the one cursor. So we have to, for whatever reason, get up here to click. You know, whereas instead of moving the cursor, we just click on the left one. And that's it. You know, click on the secondary mouse. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you can use this for. I have a couple ideas. So as you've seen in a couple of my previous videos that I could use this for. But uh, make sure you download the old one. So make sure you use the link in the description. And hopefully you can find something beneficial to use this for. So it's actually, it's pretty cool. One on my right, one on my left. And then having, you can set up multiple keyboards. So you could have one mouse and one keyboard for your monitor on your left. You could have one mouse and one keyboard for your monitor on your right. And that's it. I don't believe this is for Macs. So I'm sorry. But uh, it definitely does work all the way up to the newest version of Windows 10. From what I've read. So this is Windows 7. But that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.